up everybody, this is Dan Rock Zero Eight here, back with another review, my review on ECW December to this member 2006. I know the lighting kind of looks all creepy, makes me look creepy. Well, guess what? That's done on purpose. Because this is supposed to be scary. Because what I I saw when I watched ECW December to Dismember was fucking horrifying. I watched WrestleMania 11. And I hate that show to death. And I thought it was the worst show of all time in the history of WWE. But then I watched King of the Ring 95 and I thought, wow. Holy crap. It's worse than 11. No way. But then I saw ECW December to Dismember. And I think... I think we have the candidate. I think this is it. I think this is it. And my rating will show this is the worst show in the history of the WWE. Unbelievable how bad this show is. If there was any hope for the ECW brand, it is completely gone. Because you have Bobby Lashley, your ECW World Heavyweight Champion by the end of this time. By the end of the show. 75,000 buys. The the audience is not... The, the arena is not even filled out. The show goes about 2 hours and 15 minutes. About 30 minutes short. Yes, it was cut short. You have 6 matches here. And only 2 of them were fucking announced. Which means you had a lot of fucking filler. So when you went to the show. When people ordered the show. They didn't fucking know what they were getting. Only two matches were announced. The tag team match and the Elimination Chamber match. Nothing else was announced. So everything was booked on the fly pretty much. Nobody knew what was to be expected. But if we knew, if we knew. Let me tell you this. 75,000 people bought this show. But if they knew that they were going to see Matt Stryker versus Balls Mahoney. If they knew they were going to see Tommy Dreamer versus Davari. If they knew they were going to see two terrible tag team matches and they knew they were going to get pissed off more than anything in the elimination chamber match nobody would have bought this show this show is it has to be the worst show of all time in the wwe so let's get to the card we get the hardy boys versus eminem in a fine solid tag team match but here's the little kicker it's a smackdown match yes they put so much so much in their Elimination Chamber match. They put all their top guys in the Elimination Chamber match that, hey, fuck, we're out of guys. We only have like five fucking matches now. Well, we need a sixth match. I know, I know. We gotta, we, let's get Eminem and Hardy Boys from the tag team from SmackDown. Do a tag team match. We need, we need a strong opener. We can't open when, you know. Anyways, this is a fine tag team match. A seven out of ten. It's the only thing good about this show. Moving on. As far as that, as great as that show, as great as that match was, we followed up with Matt Stryker versus Balls Mahoney. This was one of the worst matches I've ever fucking seen. It is a travesty in professional wrestling. It's a travesty in sports entertainment. It is horrifying. And the outfit that Matt Stryker was wearing was even more horrifying. Zero out of ten. Fucking dud. Fucking garbage. Moving on. We get Sylvester Turk Guy. One of the biggest duds in the history of wrestling. He teams up with Elijah Burke. Yes, Elijah Burke, who was supposed to be one of the top guys in ECW brand at this time, gets stuck in the middle of the card with Sylvester Turk Guy, and they took on FBI. This match was garbage. The only thing good about this match was Trinity. <sighs> If only the camera could stay on Trinity the entire time and not watch the, the match. If the if they could have just shown Trinity the entire time, I would give it five stars. But, but they had to show the match, and the match was garbage. One out of ten. Just being generous. They fucked up the finish because Sylvester Turk Guy missed his spot and barely got the four on smash on Nunzio. This, this match was bad. Moving on. Tommy Dreamer versus Davari. 
Yeah, we got one of the mainstays in ECW brand in Tommy Dreamer. And he is stuck working a match with Davari. I know Tommy Dreamer, you know, likes to say that he never wanted to be world champion. He never wanted to be main event in ECW brand or whatever in ECW period. But he definitely deserved to be in the main event. But Tommy Dreamer loses to Davari by a fucking botched roll-up. It just ended out of nowhere. It just... Another bad match. 1 out of 10. <sighs> 1 out of 10. Then we get perhaps... Perhaps... Another... We get perhaps the worst match on the card. Yeah, something worse than Nat Striker versus Balls Mahoney. We get the mixed tag match. Versus with... Ke uh, Kevin Thorne and Ariel as they take on Mike Knox and Kelly Kelly. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, this match was worse than Matt Stryker versus Balls Mahoney. If you remember correctly, I gave that match a dud. So what does this match get? Negative. How? Well, it's so bad that it deserves a new that it goes beyond bad. It goes beyond a dud. Because if this match is worse than Matt Stryker versus Balls Mahoney. And that got a zero. Then this creates a new level of ratings. It gets negative. A minus 2 out of 10. That's right people. A minus 2 out of 10. Fucking garbage. Then we get to the main event. The Elimination Chamber... Is supposed to be these participants. Rob Van Dam, CM Punk, Sabu, Test, Bobby Lashley, and The Big Show. But before the Elimination Chamber set place, midway through the show, Sabu, for whatever motherfucking reason, gets taken out of the match. Gets taken on an ambulance. And he's not going to participate in this match. He gets replaced by Hardcore Holly. Yes, you have an ECW pay-per-view. You have on your roster, Sabu. He gets replaced by Hardcore Holly. And the crowd loves it so much that they're chatting bullshit. So Hardcore Holly replaces him. What about the Sandman? Well, he's not going to be on this show. Even though he's on the poster. Even though he's the mainstay of ECW original. He ain't going to be on this show. So here you have the Elimination Chamber match. Extreme rules. So which means uh, there's weapons involved. You got tables. You got a chair in there. Alright. So you have CM Punk, RVD, Test. Bobby Lashley, Big Show, and now Hardcore Holly. The original idea, I guess, CM Punk and RVD was going to go to the end. CM Punk was going to eliminate Big Show within two minutes. And I don't know who was supposed to win, apparently, but they had plans of CM Punk winning. Of course, Vince McMahon was not going to have CM Punk win. He was not going to have Rod Van Dam win. He was going to have Bobby Lashley win this. And not only is Bobby Lashley going to win, but they're going to bury CM Punk, who is the most popular non-original ECW guy on the fucking roster. They're going to bury Rob Van Dam, the most popular guy on the roster, by getting eliminated within five minutes. They eliminate CM Punk within three minutes. Rob Van Dam gets eliminated by fucking test. And then... It comes down between Big Show and Bobby Lashley. And the crowd loves it so fucking much. They're chatting boring. This match. This match. If. 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 No. If you didn't know. Oh you didn't know. That. Vince McMahon was going to. If you thought. That Vince McMahon. Was going to. Make this ECW brand an original, like the original ECW brand. Either you had way too much faith in Vince McMahon, or you're a fucking moron for believing in that. This match proves that there was going to be no hope for ECW brand. This showed 
that not only is the ECW brand not going to be the original and it was going to be something completely different, but it wasn't going to be Raw, it wasn't going to be SmackDown, it wasn't going to be on the level of those brands. It was going to be their brands' as bitches. It was going to be third banana. And whoever, even Bobby Lashley, Black Brock Lesnar, being the ECW champion, by the time 2007 rolled around, I'd say after WrestleMania, Bobby Lashley was made to look like a joke too. Because then Vince McMahon held the ECW title. For their point in a slap in everyone's faces. For any, any ECW fan out there, you watch this show, you're going to be pissed off. Because it pisses off even the smallest of ECW fans out there. And by the time Vince McMahon gets a hold of the ECW Championship, afterwards, the ECW title is not a world champion. Even though it was considered to be a world championship, it ain't no way in fuck balls was it on the level of the WWE title or the big gold world heavyweight title. Hell, by the time Vince McMahon got done through it, by the, by the time Vince McMahon got done with it, it was not even as prestige as the Cruiserweight Championship. That's right, people. So here you have Big Show and Bobby Lashley in the final two. Crowds chanting, boring. This match was boring. You had some big spots. Tess doing a huge splash off of the pod. But once when CM Punk got eliminated within three minutes, and then once when uh, Rob Van Dam got eliminated, nobody gave a shit about this match. I give this match... A 4 out of 10. And that is being generous people. That is being generous. Overall. ECW December to December 2006. Is the absolute worst show. In the history of the WWE. My final verdict. Is a 1 out of 10. A 1. And if you remember correctly. I gave King of the Ring 95 a 1.5. This is the worst show. In the history of the WWE. Sure. It did have Matt versus it did have the Hardys versus Eminem, but not even that could save this from being a garbage piece of trash show. This show makes me want to have an anal evacuation. This show makes you want to get dismem dis dismembered afterwards. It's called December to dismember for a reason. And after the show was done, everyone wanted to get dismembered because that's what it did to you. It pissed everyone off. It pissed me off. It pissed the ECW fans out there. It pissed everyone there. It pissed Paul Heyman off. Why? And what happened? Vince McMahon just pissed everybody off just for the sake of pissing people off. Made Bobby Lashley the champion. All due respect to Bobby Lashley. He didn't he should not have been ECW champion. He didn't fit the mold of ECW. With all due respect to him. This show is bad because it's a slap in the face of every ECW fan out there. And that is why it's the worst show in the history of the WWE. I'm Daniel Rock 8 here, and the next time I see you in 2015, I will catch you with the Warrior Rumble Review Series. See ya next time. December to Dismember, the absolute worst show I've ever seen in the history of the WWE. Bye.